<laughs> Hi, I'm Tomas. And I'm Jenny, and our two kids, Milan and Talea, and our dog, Oliver. And we're starting the Cat and the Mermaid to share with you guys us making our dream a reality. <laughs> and hopefully, maybe in the process, we can inspire somebody else to start going after their dream. Where we left off in our last video is we did a shakedown on the Naughty Mermaid down the intercoastal from St. Augustine, Florida to Vero Beach. Uh, we encountered a few problems, fixed those things, and arrived safely. We've been super, super busy um, wrapping up things here in Vero Beach, and so I apologize that we have been unable to get a video out there, but better late than never. Our goal going forward is going to be one video per week. Jump on you. Jump. Good boy. Everybody has been adjusting really well to life aboard. Uh, over the past several weeks while we've been uh, here working on stuff in Bureau. heading back to the house right now we've been doing trips trying to get moved in on the boat back and forth back and forth in the dinghy uh, we have the boat on the hook and we're just trying to wrap up everything with the house get everything sold and packed up um, which is not fun <laughs> but we're uh, we're handling it so While working on the house, at the same time we were simultaneously working on various projects at the boat, um, the stop switch or the cutoff for the motor stopped working. So Tomas was working on fixing that. There's Didi! There's Didi on the airplane! What'd you discover? I found a broken wire behind the engine. Okay. Yeah, now it's working. And the oil alarm turned off. Our yes. PMs are working. Switch works. Stop switch works. The only way that we were able to power down the port side motor was to use the emergency shutoff valve on the back of the motor. So every time we had to go into the port side uh, aft cabin, lift up the bed to get to the motor to turn it off every time we wanted to shut it down. So it wasn't uh, very convenient, but Tomas found a wire that was bad back there. The whole new panel cost $400, so we were glad that it was just a wire and he was able to okay, fix it. Can we put everything back? What are you doing? Are you in here watching Dora the Explorer, your new favorite show? Come on, everybody! Uh -huh. Let's all wish out to go eat these good luck! Hey! What are you doing on the table? Talea? Are you supposed to be on the table? No. That's not a good idea. Hi guys. Good morning. It's a beautiful 
too far morning. Okay, one of the current situation is we have been back and forth from the boat to the house, back and forth, back and forth, and trying to pack up, move aboard without weighing down the boat too much, um, which is not an easy feat. Um, and then we are planning on shipping some of our stuff to Vieques because ultimately we are building a house in Vieques, um, as I've mentioned previously. So in the long term, some of the things we want to have there. In the meantime, my mother-in-law in Vieques has agreed to store some of our belongings in her garage. So we can actually have them shipped for, with a moving company and have them stored in her house until we get there. So we don't really have to worry about it. And we found a company that will actually deliver to Vieques, which is not, um, which is not easy because it's a small sister island. So most shipping companies want to ship it directly to San Juan and not all the way to Vieques. So there is a company, uh, Rosa del Monte, I think it's called, that will actually deliver directly to the door. So then that's easier for us because we don't have to worry about it. So we are just trying to finish up. It's not easy. We're trying to get rid of a bunch of our stuff. And actually in Vero, for some reason, Craigslist has not been a very big hit for us. Um, so we are going to try to have a garage sale, I think, this weekend. And whatever we don't sell, we're probably going to either take with us or give away to Goodwill. We've already made a ton of trips to Goodwill. But yeah, today, also, this is the house, though, in shambles. This is our current predicament. And my parents took the kids for me today. My parents were sweet. This is the kids' room, going through all their stuff and uh, donating what doesn't. But in between that, what I haven't mentioned is the dog. <laughs> so trying to bring the dog with us on the trip, um, I'm just trying to have him ready. But I realized I was super busy with work stuff business things and closing on the boat and all that stuff that I didn't realize that he's actually out of date for his rabies vaccine, which I thought he was not. I thought he was fine. So he has to go get a rabies vaccine because you're not supposed to go into the Bahamas um, if he hasn't, he had to have had it over 30 days ago. And the Turks and Caicos um, actually require them to have a rabies titer to prove that they don't have rabies basically there's only one laboratory in the u.s that does it i think it's in texas this titer test and it has to be 30 days after their rabies vaccine the blood has to be drawn which i don't know if that's going to work now because uh we're trying to leave and so ideally we would have those labs done so we may have to leave him here with my parents and uh have him shipped to Puerto Rico once we get there. So the other thing that I have not mentioned previously is that I was a veterinary specialty nurse, a surgical nurse for a decade or so. Um, and during that time when I worked with animals, I rescued animals that would come into the hospital. So I have three cats as well that are going with me. Um, we have not been sure if we're going to take them on the boat and so we had the same predicament with taking them to the vet um, and then yeah having them get all their vaccines and they all have to be microchipped and all this stuff so they are coming to Puerto Rico with us I just don't know if it's going to be on the boat or if we are going to have to send them there but um, two of the cats that I rescued I've had for 13 years. They're old fellows. They were little bottle babies that I fed uh, with bottled milk because their mama died. Um, and then another one was a stray. So they also will be coming with us to Puerto Rico, uh, not abandoning them. And yeah, so now I'm on my way to the Humane Society vet because it's a lot cheaper than regular vets. Um, to get all this done so right now i have to go take oliver so that's where i'm headed and tomas is staying here and finishing up the house there's one of the three hi dum dum hi dum dum and that little fat guy over there with the piles of clothes that's rodrigo we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go we gotta go to talk to her 
Are you ready? And this is the outside predicament. You ready to go, Ollie? You ready to go? You ready? Don't worry. Oh, are you nervous? Are you nervous? Aww. So even though um, so I'm going ahead and having all this stuff done for the animals to get them rabies and all that stuff done, um, even though I'm not sure that the timing is going to allow them to do it, but I'm just going to go ahead and do it and you have to send in like an application for them to be able to, for, to enter into these islands. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and do that as well just so that in case whatever. We have been just crazy trying to get moved out of this house. It seems like it's never ending. And, um, but we're getting close tomorrow. We're finally having the moving garage sale. So, um, hopefully the sale will be successful and we'll be able to make a buck and sell some really big things. We were relatively successful with the garage sale. We got rid of a bunch of stuff and people showed up really early just by posting it online. Um, but we still had to make a ton more trips to Goodwill. We donated a ton of stuff. I gave family and friends other stuff and then we scheduled the move to have the movers come. On that cooler. Come on, Fuentes, what are you doing? Getting ready. What did we get? What are we so excited about? Uh -huh. We got solar panels. We got uh, 760 watts of solar panels. So now I'm getting ready to install it. I don't know what time it is. I think it's around 8. But uh, this is the time. <laughs> because? Because my little ones, they went to sleep. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> I got mostly of the connections that are here. Looks simple, but it's not. I got the panel on, on, on the top. Show and the panel. How many watts are there? There are 255 each one. Which is pretty big because most of them are 100. That's watts, right? They're so one of the most, well, one of the most strongest ones. So what else? We are almost <laughs> done. We have. Uh, movers coming next week to move our stuff. We're still doing stuff at the house though. We're not finished and juggling everything that we've got going on with the two little guys plus everything um, for the business and for also getting ready for uh, delivering the vessel is a lot of you know charts and provisioning and all of those things so Right now, I'm feeling super stressed out. <laughs> um, trying to juggle everything, it's a bit overwhelming. Uh, but we are doing the best we can and um, trying to just take it like a day at a time. Oh, you were coming here? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we're trying to take it like a day at a time. 
and not get too overwhelmed um, and make lists and figure it all out but there's kind of a lot of logistics that go into all of this so uh, that's not the fun part and at the same time I'm really trying to be present and it's all about the journey I guess uh, we also have a ton to learn still because we've never owned a catamaran before and um, most of my experience as well I think Tomas has experienced the same as like mostly coastal cruising we haven't done um, you know any ocean crossings or really offshore so uh, that's all new stuff that we really need to be on our toes and learning a bunch of stuff so we have you know precious cargo with us so waiting for weather windows and getting as much information as we can and experience under our belt with this boat and shaking it down and everything is really uh, you know fundamental and then we're also under like the time crunch because hurricane season's kind of around the corner and we also need to start you know deliver the vessel to where we can continue on with the permit process and everything that we need to do in order to get the business up and running and even though it's slow season there we still need to be uh, open for business so we have the potential to start you know working <laughs> so yeah it's a lot right now feeling the pressure um, but hopefully it's all gonna be okay We've been asked by some of you guys to um, really show the how-tos on a lot of the stuff that Tomas is doing. And we do plan to do that. We're probably going to make some separate videos of that. It's a little bit challenging with the kids because I'm normally um, on kid duty while Tomas is fixing things. So it's hard to have a camera in hand. But we do plan to do that. So going forward, we'll probably do a video um, just talking about the solar panels alone. We're also going to be installing a water maker. So so we will probably also do a how-to for the installation of that, along with various other things that he's uh, doing. What are you doing? Huh? Good morning. So I am just going to say, we are still packing. And we are super stressed out. Super. Moving day finally arrived and it was bittersweet seeing everything loaded up um, and yeah. Last of our stuff, finally and also feeling very sad. I think any time that there's change it's just uh, a lot. And it's been a work in progress for a while. But sad to see this, this house empty and all my family lives here. So there's a very real part of me um, that's feeling this. And I'm sure once we get all settled and everything, it'll be exciting. But at this moment, I'm feeling kind of sad. Last load. And the house is empty. Bye bye, house. Big adventures to come. Please subscribe to our channel to follow along with us on our journey and give us a thumbs up if you're enjoying these updates of our adventure. And um, next up, we should be sailing south. We plan to do a shakedown sail, um, coastal, and head down south to wait for a weather window to cross over to the Bahamas. We hope that you're joining us and yeah, thanks for watching.